It is Saturday night in Minneapolis. And game two of our PLL doubleheader to start week four features the Cannons and the Atlas, the Boom Squad and the Bulls. Atlas have dominated this series 4-0 all time, but Cannons feeling good, fresh off a win. A shot on the run, kicked away by Ken Cannon for a shot clock reset. Well, Cannons last in scores against as well. Teat has the first. Jeff Teat is on the board with his sixth of the season. And the Atlas have the first salvo tonight. Watch this pick by 14 in the powder blue, Justin Gutterding. And, and watch 14 set a pick here. Center top right there. And he picks off 40, the, the Cannon defender, Jack Kielty, cleanly. So a great job by Gutterding who seals Teets man and Makar on Holman, Adler on Nolting. Nice setup and Ryan Drenner cashes in. The Cannons tie it up with just under five to play in this first quarter. Somebody on the defense is asleep at the wheel. This is just too much real estate on the inside. Look, you're set to go as a double team. I think it was Durkin's ready to go. That was Rexrode. He steps up, but no one finds Drenner. That Mike Pressler used to describe this week four was redemption. Specifically, harping on the defensive end, he said, we made some fundamental mistakes, but that's pretty nice on the offensive end. Costabile with a two-bomb missile. His first two-pointer of the season. That was faster than some of Joan Duran's pitches at Target Field last night. And to pile on Dana's point, the Atlas are too good to be giving up 19 goals after winning, what, 30 of the faceoffs? That was a sloppy effort. I think Costabile just catches Curse napping and from about 16 yards, it's the best in the history of the game. Yeah. Best in the history of mathematics. It's literally off the charts. A little hidden ball action from the Cannons. Atlas don't fall for it. As Lonnie fires and picks a corner. That's good for two from number three. That power plays up to what now, 150%? Russ, what's the math? Help us out here, man. What's the year math? What do you got? They came in at 125%. What are they now? They're seven for five. Let's check the calculator. Left-handed rip. Chris Oslani in Hobart 2019. He's a coach at Princeton. Works with their goalies. Guess what he does all day, every day? Shoot. And he can really make it hum. A yard sale on Gray. Van Rapphorst fires and Kincannon's got the save. Romar Dennis. On the split, Dennis with a step, lefty hammer. Romar Dennis can crank it up. Atlas back in front. Just a matter of time before Romar finds his shooting stroke. I met his dad in Albany, Roberto. Dad emigrated from Panama as a New York Yankee draft pick and played minor league baseball. Introduced baseball to Romar at a young age. He said Romar was a great baseball player just hated it was <laughs> bored to death of it and switched in middle school to lacrosse baptiste wins the faceoff plenty of time for atlas on the feet gray cans it oh sting in the corner chris greasy on the setup from baptiste the power of baptiste Sit back and watch him work. That's a strike. Right in the wheelhouse for Gray. Makes your job so much easier as a shooter. Bunch of time with him out in Oregon at a Nike event for years consecutively. And wise beyond his years. Asser Nolting turns and sticks it. He does not need much space or much angle. Watch how quick he goes from roll to shot on this move. 
it, it's not segmented or fragmented. This is one move. Turn and shot. He knows where the goal is. He beats Kincannon to the punch. Nolting, such a tough cover because of the combination of sheer size and volume. The next play mentality allows you to keep that at, at a positive, even keel. Trenner, great pass, and Donville with the finish. We're tied at five. Jonathan Donville is on the board here in Minnesota. Well, Kincannon's got to go turn and rake and fish that ball out of the net as he takes a sip of water. I, I feel for him. You look at this two-man defense right here. Rexro, again, steps up field at Drenner thinking he's a threat and allows Donville to get some leverage inside. A beautiful entry pass by Ryan Drenner, 22. Gray. Tough shot, saved by Colin Kirst, who didn't have a save in the first quarter. He's got a couple now in the second. Holman catches on the run. That's a shot clock reset. Donville from point blank range. Back-to-back -back goals from Jonathan Donville. Three in a row for the Cannons, and they've got the lead early second quarter. There's your energy. All of a sudden, they're flying around. They're buzzing like bees. They're making things happen. Great cut by Holman, nice stop by Kincannon. Rebound control is just absolutely essential. And all of a sudden, you've got an Atlas defense where guys are out of position, they're not checked up. Found the right fit with the Cannons. Gray. Danny Logan. A short stick, D. Mitty with no hesitation. His second goal this year ties it up. A legit two-way threat. Is Curse late on this? Nah, I'm just not sure he ever saw it in the pocket. A well-placed bouncer. When the goalie turns, he's kind of, kind of got to look through traffic. And you see how Curse's body wanted to go to the left first? and then off to the right. It's typically not a good sign for a goalie when he's down on the ground sprawling. That means they got here numbers. Come, here come the cannons in transition. No pole goal picked up. Kavanaugh on the rebound. You can count it. This game's opened up big time. Matt Reese is the catalyst on this play. He's smart enough to play this loose ball out of the defensive zone knowing that it's a delayed call coming up and it's a play on situation. So he carries in with confidence. A little pump, pump fake. Rebound comes up to Kavanaugh. You know, since we're in the state of hockey, that should count as an assist for Reese. Off the rebound. Checking or, or riding concepts. It's a wonderful crossover. Picked up by Holman, two on one. Holman takes it himself and scores. Woo! This game's caffeinated. Cannons by two midway through the second. Watch Holman bait Ken Cannon into thinking he's gonna make this pass across the front of the goal. Tremendous ground. Oh, look at him. He looks him off a bit. Kincannon shifts with his hips just a little, and he beats him near side. And Rob Pinnell made some history in San Diego. Chris Gray with a low to high shot answered by Kirst. They've scored 13 plus in every game this year. On pace to eclipse that tonight, especially if Matt Cavanaugh keeps playing like this. That's two for number 50 in this second quarter and six for the Boom Squad since the first quarter ended. Jack and Cannon, the goalie, the righty out of Hofstra. Watch him lean and lunge here and kind of guess. And then a point to himself. Just gives up the inside. Watch it here. Ah, 
he thought, he just thought, and he overthought this. He thought Kavanaugh was going high opposite. Instead, he beats him near side hip. Such a difficult game to play for these goaltenders. The margin of error thin, you make a mistake. Nolting with the setup. Can Cannon, there it is, Q, at the point blank range. He is as good as it gets, and a timeout called by the Cannons and Brian Holman. Nolting matched up with Adler. Great battle. Nolting! Are you kidding? Magic from Asher Nolting, and the Cannons are in double figures in the first half. Well, it's Saturday night, and I guess that makes it all right. Watch the footwork, and the big man goes airborne. Bullying the rookie, Adler, to the rack. Mm. Wasn't even looking at the goal. And Holman has lit the fuse on these cannons. Leading by four, under a minute to play until halftime. Donville buries it. It's a hat trick for number 33 in the first half. And the Cannons are firing on all cylinders tonight. Credit to the coaching, but credit to complimentary lacrosse. Look at the hustle play by Matt Cavanaugh, the lefty out of Notre Dame. Chasing it down, the conversion, take an extra step to greatness. Jonathan Donville's had a big night, maybe a career night for him. I got him for three right now at halftime. Aslanian trotting out of the box. Nice move on Costabile. Aslanian goes low and scores. Chris Aslanian with his second goal, third point of the first half, and the Cannons are doubling up the Atlas. You can, you can just feel the confidence. Chris Aslanian with a gorgeous move, left to right split. Instead of shooting that one on the run, the double team doesn't come, so he's able to plant and let it rip. Atlas defense is in disarray. Whether it's man-to-man -man coverage on Dodgers, double. Atlas to the power play. That'll work. Woo. Jeff T. Wizardry. The processing speed in Premier Lacrosse is the most powerful computer speed you can buy right now. Almost artificial intelligence for T. That ball's in his stick for a fraction of a second. Again, catch, shot, in one motion. Chris Gray, lefty two bomb, cursed, gobbles it up. Holman trying to go quickly, rolls back, lost his footing. Porter makes the save, but a flag comes in. Memories. Yeah. Cannons by five as Matt Campbell hits the gas, goes low and beats Porter. Matt Campbell is a blur. Brooks got his first goal tonight. The Cannons back on top by six. We saw Sam Hanley tonight turn it up a notch, a rookie out of Penn, and I get the feeling that Campbell, the light, the light bulb's gone off as well. This is a rookie out of Villanova. Right to left, split dodge. Runs by Maycar. And creates separation with a level change to the far post. It's ball game last night. I felt it walking around town today. Well, you're running around yelling, go O's. People are still nice to you. Minnesota, they're super nice. There it is. Number 300 for Marcus Holman. The Cannons power play strikes again. And that is history for number one. Boom Squad's best. Keeps this one simple from a wing. He 
lines this up. Gets the defense on the rotation. They're just a second late, and they don't impact the release at any point. You got to get to a shooter's hands, eyes, or body. And from 10 yards, Drake Porter can just turn and rake. That's as simple as it gets. It's just a catch and shoot to the far post. And you look at the, the legends that Holman now has placed himself. John Grant Jr. played for so long. Paul Rabel, a midfielder amongst attackmen on that list. And Mundorf, to me, one of the most overrated pro players, underrated ever. Old skates when Junior grows out of them. Yeah, those dull old skates. Dennis again tries it from outside, and this time he sticks it. A two bomb from Romar Dennis, and that can change the momentum in a hurry. Man on a mission. Man on a mission. That's the best shift that he's played all year. Watch this. Jason being relentless. Gets the ball on the carpet. There's your yard sale, Egan. And there's your two bomb. That's big. A two on the run running parallel to the arc. Uh, rarely seen. It gives you an indication of the, the power. Holting. Holman gets it back. Stopped by Porter. Opportunity. Dennis, that is a sharp angle from outside. Campbell against Logan. Campbell with some space. Campbell shoots. Porter with the save, man. He's been good in this third quarter. Campbell against Logan. Campbell with some space. Campbell shoots. Porter with the save, man. He's been good in this third quarter. Five saves since replacing Jack and Cannon at halftime. Here come the Bulls. Rex Road all the way to the hole. A pole goal coast to coast. The running of the Bull. Smirky smile from Coach Pressler starts with a save. He goes to the bullpen and brings in the Canadian Drake Porter. Syracuse product. Rex Road picks it clean. And then he's off to the races. He outlegs Holman. Holman with the, the futile dive. Rex Chris Gray also. Been mostly midfield offense. Campbell puts his foot in the ground around Costabile and buries it past Porter. Campbell's pretty good. Right now, he's sitting at sixth place in terms of the Rookie of the Year odds. Give me, give me, give me Matt Campbell right now to be Rookie of the Year from what I'm seeing in this game. I, th I think he's going to leapfrog Xander Dixon and Mike Sisselberger. He's leapfrogging Gavin Adler today. Campbell and Dordovic could be the guys to buy for Rookie of the Year. How smooth does Matt look on the field today? He's getting a shot every time, Drew. Oh, okay, just a little sprinkle, maybe? A little taste? Well, a defender's not going to win it. Look at Kirst. Look at Colin Kirst. Expect the hustle that Kirst just did from the 50. Get this guy. That was quick. Get him some oxygen. He makes the save. Kirst at Rutgers was through just gorgeous outlet passes. Great on the clear. Nolting sets up Kavanaugh. A Matt Kavanaugh hat trick. 16 total for the Cannons. Kavanaugh's got five points tonight. Kavanaugh's really got a feel for this offense now. And he's found his niche on the left side. This time a, a cut down the hash. Adler, he's got some trouble with that pick, but he does a fine job on Nolting. But somewhere off ball, there was a really strong pick set. Kavanaugh cuts, gives him a, a target. And look at that finish. High release. That's too short to bet the under anyway. Here's Bubba Fairman. Holman, good luck, and he Jeez. paints it. Jeez Louise, this oh. is a hammer time. Holman Patrick, he's been doing that for years. 3-0-1. Drake Porter has some choice words. He should be going after his defense because they, they leave him out to dry. You get a Tucker Durkin slide. Everybody's a step late and a dollar short. Atlas, don't quit your day jobs. Everything in his toolkit, and that's really 
To me, that's his strength. Law goes backhand and puts up a highlight goal for the Atlas. Eric Law has some of the silkiest hands in the sport. Super smart, year 11 as a pro player. Former captain at Denver. Take what they give you. Catches this right-handed. Does the shovel shot with a little twist. Catch up. Right on the crease, Ryan Drenner. They're giving up layup after layup tonight. Penalties had been a, a problem of the past. This, this D's just not in sync tonight at all. That's back-to-back -back outings. So two guys go to the ball carrier, no one covers the cutter. So communication, connection, knowing the rules and assignments. Three. You know, Frankie Kelly was actually okay against him tonight, going four of seven. There's Matt Campbell, and there's the hat trick. Atlas defense can only stand around and watch the big screen. They gave up 19 to the Water Dogs in Columbus, Ohio. And that's the case again tonight. Like, not on the same page. Little tic-tac-toe. Campbell catches this at seven yards. Is able to turn, look at the goal. Peace blocked a Romar Dennis shot. He's gonna finish his shift like a hockey defenseman. On the crease, Law slots it home. That was Jack Keelty, rather, 40 and white, who blocked the shot. That stings if you're a Cannons fan because you're flying around, trying so hard. Guys are soaking up shots. And this will only count for goal differential. As the little Smurfs are getting ready to collect their autographs. Nice look away feed. What a, what a pass. Ray seeing through the defense. The Cannons feeling good. They've earned a celebration tonight over in Dinky Town or maybe in the North Loop. Final score tonight, 19 to 12. Cannons crush the Atlas. Week four of the PLL season continues tomorrow at 2 Eastern on ESPN2. As Redwoods take on chaos, we'll be joined by Jeremy Thompson up here in the booth for that one. Tonight for Quint Kesnick, Dana Boyle, our entire crew led by Todd Jones and Brett Lancaster. I'm Drew Carter. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you tomorrow.